what's going on you guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am going to be recreating a look i've literally been seeing all over instagram it's very soft chic put together very like cool girl glam like if you have an instagram you know exactly what i'm talking about like very like sporty chic but still like very fresh in the face like i don't know I'm really, really into it. If you guys are into it as well, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I will be using a mixture between affordable and high-end products, which I know you guys love. So while you're at it, click that bell. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the look. The first thing I do whenever I sit down to film, which I usually don't show, is I like to curl my lashes. I'm using this lash curler here from Revlon. It's pretty good. If I can find it online, I will list it down below. Now that that's done, let's move on to face primer. I'm gonna be doing very, very minimal eye makeup today. So I'm gonna start off with the Revlon Prime Plus. This is a brightening and skin tone evening makeup primer. I really love this because it gives my skin such a beautiful natural glow. So I'm gonna put this all over. I did already moisturize and apply my sunscreen in case you guys were curious because that's definitely a step I never ever skip and usually I already have it on before I film because I am doing things throughout the day so it's like the first thing I do in the morning before I even put any makeup on. I do like to put this primer on my forehead as well because it gives me a really really beautiful overall glow now because i have been struggling with like a little bit of pore issues i am going to go in with a skin smoothing primer i'm going to use this one right here by covergirl this is the skin smoothing primer it's a true blend base business primer covergirl does have some of the best best primers i've seen from the drugstore so i'm going to stick it right here in this area i do personally feel like this primer by covergirl is a really really awesome dupe for the one from smashbox i will have it listed on the screen all right skin is nice and prepped it's primed we're ready for foundation i am going to do my little cocktail i did this a few videos back i'm going to use my tried and true hourglass vanish stick foundation in the shade nude i love this so much and i'm also going to mix in a little bit of this by kosas this is a tinted face oil and at first i was like okay oil not the biggest fan but this mix in with a little bit of my hourglass foundation it's like perfection so we're gonna take just a few stripes of the hourglass one you guys know what i didn't do i'm getting ahead of myself i actually did not go in with my color corrector i'm gonna use this one right here by found this is just a peach color corrector it's very similar it's very similar to the one by LA Girl. I just like to switch things up from time to time. I like to put this over all my blemishes, like my acne scars, because I do have quite a bit of them. And then I'll put this underneath my eyes. This cancels out the blues and greens. If you guys don't struggle with like acne scarring or just dark circles in general, you can definitely skip this step. Now I'm gonna go in with just a fluffier brush and blend this out. One thing I do want you guys to be aware of when using the found color corrector is that it sets really, really quickly. So normally I will go in with the color corrector and then blend it all out, but I definitely recommend going over each area and then blending it out and then moving on because once it sets, it sets and it's a little difficult to blend out. So anyways, back to the foundation. I'm gonna take a few stripes of the hourglass foundation directly over top of the areas where I want a little bit more additional coverage. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Kosas face oil. I'm going to give it a shake because you have to give it a really good shake before you start going in with it. I like to put some on the back of my hand here. And then I'll take my total face sponge and then I'll just start to buff and blend this out. I really love this combo. I wear it a lot on my days where I want somewhat of a natural finish, but I still want a good amount of coverage. The Hourglass Stick Foundation gives me awesome coverage, but this Kosas one, it really just, I don't know, it melts the product into my skin unlike anything I have ever seen. So that's why it's my go-to. 
Now, because this is a tinted face oil, I do like for it to dry down just a little bit before I move on. So if you have a fan or something like that, definitely get it going, but I'm just gonna kind of wait maybe about a minute, a minute 30, and then we'll move on to concealer. So it's been about a minute 30, a minute 45, but we're gonna move on now. I do wanna go in with some cream contour. I will be using this product, which is a brand new product for me. This is a part of the Kento and Kylie collection. Super cute. I do have a video going up on IGTV this week using that collection. It's very, very neutral. I do plan on using some of the colors within the eyeshadow palette soon. If you guys want me to use that on my channel, let me know. But I'm just taking this brush right here. This is a Sephora number 47 and I'm brushing the cream product onto it. And then I'm just going to blend this into my skin. This is in the shade Act Natural. It is kind of cool tone, so it's not really warm, but I'm gonna go in with this and then warm it up with a little bit of bronzer. I'm just creating some natural shadows with this. I'm just blending very, very nicely into my base because I haven't set it yet. I'm doing this before I do concealer because sometimes I notice I can go a little ham with my cream contour and concealer just helps me clean it up a little bit. I also have a huge pimple right here. Like, who invited her to the party? I sure as hell didn't. I'm telling you guys, my skin is on a whole new level. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This has been my baby. I stopped using it for a while, but then I picked it back up and I'm like, wow, why did I ever stop using you? So I'm gonna put it down the center to slightly highly and then I like to put it on my chin just because you guys know this is like a problem area for me so I'm using the concealer for additional coverage. I'm gonna wait about 45 seconds and then I'm gonna start blending it out. Y'all know my little trick. I like to take the concealer on the back of my hand, wait 45 seconds and then start dipping my sponge into the concealer and then blending it out. It just gives me such a beautiful flawless finish. Try it out and thank me later. Now that I have my concealer nice and blended out, I'm gonna go in with some kind of loose powder. Mine is from Hourglass, but you guys can use whatever it is that you guys want. I do like to blow on my sponge, which I know is not very sanitary, but I need to in order for my powder to lay even. So I'm gonna look up and lightly press it underneath the eyes to set. I like to bring it down just a little bit as well. Otherwise I can get like a cast or line or whatever you wanna call it. Then with whatever powder you have, I'm gonna use my MAC Fix Plus. This is a medium plus. And I'm gonna use this to pat down all the areas where I didn't put that loose powder just to even things out. I'm also gonna take a little bit and put it directly over top of the areas where I cream contoured just to set them down and in place. This isn't really gonna alter the color at all. It's really just going to prevent it from moving. So let's bronze a little bit. I have this bronze right here by Kylie Cosmetics. I've been using this in a lot of my videos. It is in the shade Almond and I really like it because it has some warmth. It, it has nice warmth to it. So it just gives me such a beautiful kind of like bronzy look. And since that cream contour was so cool, I definitely need something to warm it up. So I'm just going to kind of tap it as opposed to swiping it because I'm really just going to tap it in the areas where I put that cream contour and it's really going to make it pop and stand out. I'm going to take my Real Techniques highlighter brush, swirl it into my bronzer and then just add some warmth to the sides of my nose just to make it stand out a little bit more. I'm also going to take my sponge and tap that concealer just so that way it's not creasing. And then with that same highlighter brush, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and then just kind of run it into the socket. And then we're gonna move on to actual eyeshadow. The eyeshadow palette I'm gonna use today is this one right here by ColourPop. This is the Nude Mood eyeshadow palette. I've been itching to play around with this since I got it. I really, really love the tones within this palette. So the first shade I'm gonna pick up is called Naturel. And I'm just going to take this on an M44 or M433. I was gonna say M441 but M433 by Morphe, and I'm just going to softly blend this into my crease. I don't wanna to go too crazy with this. It's supposed to be very soft and effortless, so that's what we going for. 
Before I move on, I'm gonna go in with some loose powder here and I'm gonna use this to kind of clean up and chisel out the sides of my nose. And while that sits there and bakes, I'm gonna go in with a flat definer brush and pick up that same natural shade from the Nude Mood palette. And I'm just gonna stamp it right alongside my lower lash line and smoke it out. Then with a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna dust away this nose contour. So that way we can finish off with blush, liner, lashes, and lips. For liner, I'm gonna pick this shade right here. It's called Moody. And I'm gonna take that on an angled brush. I'm gonna use this shade right here to start to create my brown liner because that is what I've been seeing everywhere. Cute, cute. Cute, right? Okay, definitely into it. I do wanna go in with just like a hint more of that shade called Natural from the palette. And I just want to deepen up the crease a little bit, like in this outer part right here. Nothing too crazy though. Before I go in with lashes and stuff, I do wanna go in with a little bit of blush because my cheeks are looking very, very bare right now. I'm gonna use this by Almay. This is the Healthy Hue Blush in the shade Nearly Nude. And I'm just gonna pop this onto my cheeks. Ooh, I love this color. A little bit goes a very, very long way. As you can see, it's very easy to get heavy handed with this, but it's okay. I love blush. I think it's cute. I am gonna go in with a little bit of highlight. This one here is by Revlon. This is a spot on dupe for the Amrezy Highlighter by ABH. Forewarning, you can thank me later. And I'm just gonna pop this right here. I feel like very highlighted skin is dying out, but I could be wrong. I just like to highlight right up here. And here I am highlighting that pimple, but it's okay. I'm gonna take some on my nose, Cupid's bow, and also down the bridge. I'm gonna go in with some mascara. I'm gonna use this one. This is Brand Spakin' New by Urban Decay. I used it in my last video and I wanna keep using it to see how I really feel about it. So I'm gonna coat my lashes. I'm also going to go in with individual lashes again today. It's honestly just been a vibe. I feel like lash extensions, like the look of lash extensions has really been in on Instagram, so. I'm just gonna lightly coat my lashes and I'm really not trying to coat it all the way towards the ends because I don't want it to give it the illusion that I'm wearing like a crap ton of mascara. Like I want it to look like I have very effortless lashes but I don't want them to be spidery. So I'm going to go in with the spoolie and then just lightly brush out the mascara. The individual lashes I will be using today are from Ardell, the same ones I used in my previous video. These are the double up. I'm gonna use a mixture between the long and the short ones. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that mascara and I'm just gonna lightly coat my bottom lashes. Nothing too crazy though, like just like one and done just like that. And then the last and final thing I have to do is lips. I'm gonna go in with the same lip combo I did in my last video. I'm gonna take the ColourPop lip liner in the shade BFF2 and line my lips completely. The lipstick I'm gonna use is a part of a brand collaboration with Jen Loves Review and Over Cosmetics. This is in the shade Revive, and I'm only gonna put this on my bottom lip, and then I'm gonna blot. And who would I be if I didn't go in with just a little bit of gloss? I'm gonna use the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline in the shade Ice. Since I'm already here, I'm just gonna go balls out and I'm going to go in with this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color and I'm gonna create like faux freckles because why not? We're here, let's do it. And then I'm gonna go over top of it with just a little bit of face powder just so that way it doesn't look so stark and harsh. So I'm just gonna kind of tap here. 
And then I'm just going to set everything down and in place with the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it. This is my take on turning myself into an Instagram cool girl. I feel like this look is very, very poppin' over on the gram. Brown liner, soft eyes, very like lash extension lashes, and like a nude lip with a flawless base. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, and let me know if you guys recreate this look at home. I will have all products listed down below in the description in case you guys are interested in checking those out. Leave me any video request I do want to film some videos that you guys want to see next week so make sure you guys drop me a comment down below and I don't have much else to say except I love you guys thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one deuces